As the next generation of gaming approaches, the wrestling video game market is as wide open as it's ever been. While there's still the big fish in the pond known as WW2K, the game has been plagued by so many issues that fans are hoping someone steps up to fight for the throne. We already know about larger projects like former WWE games developer Yuke's upcoming wrestling game and the yet to be officially announced AEW video game, as well as smaller endeavors like the upcoming Retromania Wrestling and the recently released Chikara Action Arcade Wrestling. But now there's another wrestling game in development and it comes from well-established studio Virtual Basement. Now if you don't know what Virtual Basement is, it's a US based developer known primarily for games like the Mean Green's Plastic Warfare and the dinosaur themed survival game Ark Survival Evolved. With those games along with many others under their belts and out to consumers, the studio feels the time is now to enter the squared circle. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. Though details are limited, including an official name, we do have some information about the game after talking to the studio. The game is being developed using Unreal Engine 4, which is the same engine that powers games like Gears 5 and Borderlands 3, and it's being built for the next-gen Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Though the plan is to be a multi-platform final release, the studio admits that it's quote, very possible and likely that it launches initially on PC during its development for alpha and beta testing. Ashton Anderson, Virtual Basement's lead designer, told SGO that, quote, we're self-funding the project to avoid publishers, investors, and outside influence as much as possible. We want to keep this a community-driven experience. It won't be a game we launch every year with a new number, but rather one game we continuously update. Regarding animation, there is motion capture being done for the game, but it's not going to be used for full animation of the wrestlers, as studio animators are doing most of the work manually. While there's no gameplay available to see at the moment, Anderson and his team are putting the primary development focus on that element. Inspired by past games such as No Mercy, Day of Reckoning, and SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, the Virtual Basement team aims to bring elements of these titles into the game along with their own gameplay features. Now once that foundation is set in place, Virtual Basement is working to have numerous modes available either at launch or added via post-release development. These modes include a variety of match types, a career mode, and possibly a management mode akin to past GM modes from the SmackDown vs Raw series. Anderson also added that the plans are to offer a deep creation suite for players, as that's what will allow people to make the game truly something special. Anderson says that his team believes that creative tools and mod support is crucial and a breathing force for the wrestling community. When it comes to the game's roster, Virtual Basement is taking a bit of a different approach. Unlike WWE 2K, Chikara AAW, and even the eventual AEW game, Virtual Basement's roster won't be confined to just one wrestling promotion. The company is licensing wrestlers on an individual basis in order to build a diverse group for players, and it already includes wrestlers from national promotions like Ring of Honor and Impact Wrestling. The roster includes a mix of current stars and up-and-coming independent wrestlers, with over 30 wrestlers signed to date. On the men's side, the roster includes Ken Shamrock, Matt Seidel, Jonathan Gresham, Kenny King, Matt Taven, JTG, Shad Gaspard, Brian Pillman Jr., Brian Cage, Bull James, Caprice Coleman, Shaheem Ali, Congo Kong, Anthony Green, LSG, O'Shea Edwards, Sean Donovan, Kevin Riley, Enzo, Bear Country, Brawler Malonis, and Falaba. On the female roster, you have the likes of Kylie Ray, Ivelisse, Alex Garcia, Killer Kelly, Shaza McKenzie, Gabby Ortiz, and Lady Frost. The game even has one referee signed at this time, and that's former WWE and Impact Wrestling official Brian Hebner. Now as the rest of the roster fills out, the studio is shooting for a minimum of 60 wrestlers in the game at launch, with a 50-50 split between male and female talent. That split and 60 wrestler total, however, is a flexible number that they hope to increase before the final release. We're focusing on building the best roster we can, while also building a balance between rising and current stars across the board, Anderson says. We hope for this to be a way for people to be introduced to new wrestling stars. Now regarding any sort of release date, Anderson says that the studio refuses to rush what he considers to be a passion project out to market, saying that everything is in the very early stages of development and we have no intentions to rush anything. We're currently building up our roster and characters behind the scenes, and have a lot of plans this year for rollout and information. He ended the conversation by saying that the game's name will be announced soon, 
as well as the launch of a Discord and forum for those who he hopes will quote, help carve this game into the best wrestling experience it can be. So sports gamers, now we pass the questions off to you. What do you think about Virtual Basement's next-gen wrestling game based on the information that we know? What modes and roster members do you hope to see added before launch? Leave a like on this video and let us know in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online and turn on your notifications so you never miss any of our latest videos.